when David became old, he was cold. Everybody knows that in the evening is colder than the afternoon. When you get to the evening of your life, there are certain colds that come. When David became cold, they looked at him and they covered him with clothes. And the Bible says he did not become hot. He couldn't get warm. And then somebody said, we know what he likes. He likes women. Let's get him a young woman. And they bring Abishad and brought her to David. And yet, he couldn't be warm. Abishad was a cloth. The physical clothes were clothes, but they could not cover David's nakedness and they could not remove his, his cold and they could not make him walk. Warm. In the evening of your life, it is not everything that removes cold. And one of the major things that removes cold or that removes cold is the presence of your children, the prosperous presence of your children in the evening of your life. My father tells me regularly, it is in the evening of a person's life that you know whether he has a child or not. I decree over you that in the evening of your life, you will not be naked. Now, beloved, listen to me. There are preachers and there are preachers. Some people go, some are sent. God sent me to you here. I'm not doing this because I want to do it. I'm not doing this because I don't have something else to do. I'm here because God raised me to bless womanhood. I take my position in the body of Christ. I used to shy away from it. But I've made up my mind that my generation must not miss what God has put on my inside. And the Lord said to me, Olufunke, you are more than a preacher. You are a divider of inheritances. You are a distributor of portions. Every time you preach, I will stand behind you as your backup that cannot back out. And I will distribute portions and inheritances. Today, I stand in the grace of God on my life. In the evening of your life, you will not be naked. In the evening of your life, you will not be naked. Your covering cloth will not tear. If you believe it, let your amen sound. Take your seat because I want to pray another prayer for you. I heard it from one of the women in on the state, the wife of, you know, the chief judge. She said, if you have a son, it is not a guarantee that you have a child. I said, uh uh-uh. What does she mean? She said, if you have a daughter, it does not mean that you have a child. She said, until you have a kind child. Kind children. Children that you labor over and in the evening of your life, they take care of you. I decree over your life, your children will become kind children. Kind children. 